Well, Charlemagne doubts that Drake can come back. It's interesting to see what he's thinking. I think a lot of people are baiting Drake into a response because they're feeling like Drake might not respond because that Pusha T diss was real hard. It was really hit close to home, you know, came for home team. You got Jay Prince reacting, uh, a lot of people reacting. Jay Prince thinks it was super disrespectful and, you know, went a little too far. Uh, Charlemagne feels like that Pusha T's up by one. I do too. I think a lot of people do. But I'm not doubting Drake coming back because, um, as a lot of people believe, and I believe, Drake is very calculated. Um, let's get into this one, and I'll, I'll play the clip for you. This is George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to add to the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Well, Charlemagne believes Drake has nothing more to benefit from this fall back. Um, you know... Pusha T came hard. I, I was impressed the way Pusha T responded. I, kn I knew he had bars, but he took it to another level. He took it to where it needed to go to battle a pop star at the stature. Now, uh, I don't know. I, I think I think Drake's coming back today. Uh, I've seen a couple people tweet things out. You know that something's happening. I saw Nikki tweet something out. OVO40 tweeted something out last night. Something's definitely coming today for sure. Uh, anyways, guys, check this out. Let me know what you guys think. Looking at both lyrics, I didn't read all of these. Turn, turn the radio down, because this, first of all, let the record show that Taylor is from Philly. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, okay? You, you but I want everybody to know that when Drake and Meek was going at it, but first of all, she had no like, energy on, for Meek. On, just because Meek's from Philly, I'm supposed to just rep for him? No. no. Yes. No, yes. I'm yes. Not. I'm yes. Oh, oh you don't fuck with the Eagles? You was at a Super Bowl party, though. You was at the Super Bowl party, repping in Philly, having the free drinks. No, I wasn't. So, anyways, I'm glad we're playing the rap, but I'm not hype off of, like, the team stuff like that. Just because Meek is from Philly does not mean, like, I have to support him, blah, blah, blah. Granted, I support, like, when the whole prison thing and all that stuff is going on. But I'm saying, Drake bodied Meek. Got I'm not necessarily Drake did his thing in that battle back to back was a exactly. phenomenal. I think back to back so, is a top five disc okay, record of all time. So, but with this right here, they ain't no push a T versus Drake. Oh man, let's no. call it. Push a T versus Drake. I'm not saying Drake got body though, because it wasn't like because when when you compare Meek Mill, Drake, and Pusha T, and Drake, Meek Mill's bars were trash. At, at, like, was they trash or not? It's been two whole days. Where Drake at? Cause, cause, because be, because the pressure was on, y'all were putting pressure on pushing to respond, respond, respond. Yes. Okay. You don't think people are responding? You, you don't think people are putting pressure? Now he don't got to respond promptly. Wait, wait, time out, time out. I'm not, I'm I don't waiting. think, listen. Wait, I'm, I'm still waiting for a Drake response. I'm I don't not think, saying I don't, that. I don't, I don't think, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think, I don't think Drake has to reply no time soon. Why? If I was Drake, I wouldn't reply at all. Why? Because I don't think that it's anything for him to reply. Wants, I think he so needs, bad. again, let's That's go That's not back. a loss. Wait, time out. Let's go back. Because the only reason why I'm saying Drake needs to reply is because he can't put that blackface cover up when he's backing up someone that supports Trump. That's that's that's, that's true. true. That is such foolish logic. No, it's not. It is such foolish why? logic. Why? If I was Drake, I'm gonna come at you. Because you act like Pusha it has never checked Kanye over the Trump I stuff. I see it. Where? Where? Where did he say that? He did it. He said in the Breakfast Club interview. I don't want to say it to Kanye. Did he say it to Kanye? I wasn't there. I'm sure he said it to Kanye all the time. But either way, you're still backing Kanye up. How is he backing them up? Once again, do you have friends that you agree with 100% all the time? Do you and your friends share all the same views, all the same beliefs? Because if you do, I would tell you that you're in an echo chamber. We have very similar beliefs. I, 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 me, and my, me and my friends have a lot of different beliefs, a lot of different values. Not, we debate about a lot of different things. Yeah, but you can, be, you know, y'all get y'all get along and y'all are friends because y'all might have a lot of the same core values, but that don't mean y'all have all the same beliefs. That don't mean that all of y'all are right all the time either. Sometimes your friends do dumb shit and say dumb shit. Of they do, but I'm just saying, though, if I was Drake to respond, I'm going to come at him still because you can't put all this stuff about blackface, like, oh, racism, blah, 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 when you're... Push it in and say here. nothing about racism. How about... No, uh, no. Else is, that's what I'm saying. But, but because, else is, because they understand what blackface is. I don't. I really don't think that y'all understand what blackface is. No, we, I, we understand and not, what blackface and, is. 
and not just blackface, the full, ho, oh, oh, ho, not just blackface, the full minstrel show with the hands and the lips and the smile. But at the end of the day, 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 why are you making it seem like, I feel like only people are upset because it's half white. It's okay to say you love Drake. That's all. Just say you love Drake. But I'm not. You hate Drake. Exactly. I don't hate you Drake. Hate Drake. Yes, you do. You hate light skin. Stop. Stop. Be real. Y'all want to know? Y'all, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Put it on yourself. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I don't care about none of these niggas. None of them. Okay, I just like to smoke. I like the drama. I like rap shit. Okay, this is good rap shit. If Drake, well, listen, when Drake did the W freestyle, I gave Drake his props. I'm like, yo, Drake got busy. He did his thing. Exactly. I'm but Pusha came back exactly, he did. and got. I'm not saying Push, that. I'm not just saying admit, that. Pusha got him looking crazy a little bit. Of course, yes. But say I'm it. I want to hear you say it. <laughs> I want to hear you say <laughs> Pusha got him looking crazy. No. He don't have Pusha. How he got Pusha looking crazy? Pusha looking crazy. First of all. Not like doing research on him, but when Duffy came out, everybody was like, "Oh, like Drake." Because y'all love Drake. That record wasn't even about Pusha. Yes, it was about body, but I don't think he could ever get body. Honestly, I don't think Pusha could ever really. It's just record had more to do with Kanye than exactly. Exactly. Let's go. Exactly. It was way more like Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. That's it. It was seventy percent Kanye. Pull it up right now. Pull it up. Let me show you. It's seventy percent Kanye, thirty percent Pusha. Yes, that is the same girl who was drinking Starbucks when we were boycotting. This one right there. Yes, I'm glad. I'm glad somebody. I'm glad somebody noticed. Okay. Yes, they see you, and she's from Philly. Where did where did the Starbucks incident happen? In Philadelphia. But she don't give a fuck about Philly. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm in New York, right? And let not black people downstairs in Starbucks. Be real. 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 Charlamagne. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You sound like you're on Ambien. <laughs> you sound like you're on Ambien, yo. Be real. I let not black people in Starbucks. You sound like you're on Ambien. I let not black people in Starbucks. I don't know. I don't go to Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? Pull up. Let me see that. What's this? Okay. Now let's read these lyrics. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's, what do you really think of the nigga that's making your beats? Kanye diss. Mm. I've done things for him I but thought that he that never would need. Father had to that stretch his to hands out and get though. it from me. That goes to him too, though. Kanye diss. That goes to him too, though. No, it's not. Our father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me? Kanye diss. Okay, that's Kanye right I popped style for 30 hours and let him repeat. Kanye diss. Uh, now you popping up with the jokes. I'm dead. I'm asleep. I just left from over y'all putting pen to the sheets. Another good music. That's a good music as a whole, dude. <laughs> Tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat. Keep the He's just talking shit. Denim. Denim with Steve. I think Steve is Push's manager. He's just talking about random so like other people. No, people. no, he's not. No, that, that's Push's manager. Now, go don't, don't don't scroll down so fast. Let's keep it on that. <laughs> Hold on now. Because we already had three. All right. Denim with Steve. From Chicago. I could never have a Virgil in my circle and hold him back. Kanye diss. Uh, let me see. Your brother said it. Now, that's a Pusha diss. There's no mouth in heart. That's Pusha. Oh, that whole part was pusher. The Nike and Mercedes all pusher. The microphone of yours all pusher. Okay, so uh, that's not all okay. No, it's all, listen, yeah. Picture. Then it goes into Quentin, which ain't got nothing to do with nothing. And then the whole end is all... It's all pusher. It's pusher. Yeah, so it's not all Kanye. 70% Kanye. No, it's not. 60-40, come on. 60-40, Taylor, come on now. Regardless of the fact that it's pushing not on um, good music, Adam Robinson, 1991, says Charlamagne has been so good since Kanye flew him out. Hey, suck my dick, but that's not even true. The fact that I like Pusha's album, okay? I don't give a fuck who Pusha signed to. And you like Pusha's album, too, all right? And y'all like Pusha's diss records. Why don't y'all admit it? It's okay, all right? When Drake Duppy dropped, it was good. I like Drake's Duppy. It was a dope fucking record, okay? I was souping that shit up. I told Pusha, I said, yo, are you ready for Drake's smoke? Didn't I say that to him? I said, I asked him. I said, are you ready for Drake's smoke? Because I thought that Drake was going to bring it. And he did bring it. But guess what? I don't even care about this battle no more because a fucking press release came out today.
Alright? I don't want it. I'm not, I don't enjoy it as much no more. I'm gonna be honest with you. Why are you mad that he did X Men? You guys didn't rap it? You guys didn't rap the X Men? I told y'all. Really? He can still come? To me, I just feel like he can still come. If he comes out with the track tomorrow, the beef absolutely comes. He's doing exactly what he should do. I told no, you. I told y'all yesterday. He's not gonna go out without releasing like the track. Drake is not going to do this. I wouldn't do it. He's organizing this today. I wouldn't do it. Next four days, my son Drake will come up with something. Yo, if Drake comes out with something, you got to owe her. You owe her something. Yo, y'all make more excuses for Drake than niggas do for LeBron. I'm saying he's not gonna go out without a fight. That's all nah, I'm saying. I'm good. I'm not face. Drake is not gonna go down like this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how time is. I'm over it. How fast was one of the drops when Drake dropped? Um, back to back, four days. Wait, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Why are you upset? You're the one that is saying he's gonna come out on his right side, blah, blah, right? Oh, he already went on his right side. No, why are you upset though that he technically I'm not upset. Listen, I like being. I like being right. I like being right. I told y'all yesterday. Listen, if I was Drake, I already told y'all what I would do. I would do it. I would. I would. I would do it. I would say, look. So why are you? I would say, hey. I would say, hey. I would say, listen, America. But why? Why are you mad that he did I would. I'm not mad. I would say, hey. I would say, hey, America. I feel like Pusha went too far, and you know, I just want to get back to my album and making this good music, and that's what I would do. I wouldn't do that. First of all, that's another thing. Let's talk about that. I ain't asked for no motherfucking bottles. Y'all gotta. Stop. I didn't ask for. I like. Yo, you know who said some shit yesterday? What's the what's the what's the white rapper name? The big the diesel motherfucker. God damn, he named after some trash or some shit. What's his name, man? Wasn't he on Flavor of Love or something? What am I thinking about? I know I see his face. He's, 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 he's tweeted like Jody something. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Stitches? No, it ain't Stitches, man. Y'all know who I'm talking about, man. Riff Raff, there you go. Riff Raff got on Twitter yesterday and said, I'm a snake because I did an interview with Kanye then gave Kanye Donkey the other day, right after the interview. And then, because Drake gave me bottles. And I'm I'm riding with Pusha. First of all, I'm not. First of all, let's be let's be clear about something, all right? It's not my fault. After I did an interview with Kanye, he went and said slavery was a choice. So so just because I do an interview with you, don't mean that I'm still not gonna call it how it is. That's number one. Number two, Drake sent me bottles. So what? If Pusha gets the best of him, as as I think he has right now, that doesn't mean I'm I'm not gonna say that. Like I'm supposed to not say that because Drake sent me bottles. That's what I'm saying though. I'm not saying. That Pusha T is not one up. I, I'm not saying. Oh! What did you just say? What did you just say? What did you just say? Hey! 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 hey. First of all, you're way too hype for all the computers over there. Second, second, Drake is going to come back. I feel like I don't feel like he's going to like just let it go. I think the series is two one. Uh, so game four, game four will be in Toronto. Um, so. I don't even necessarily know if I if I care about game four, but I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for the smoke but all I feel summer. Like the only reason why Drake put that out is because of the backlash he got. Would you prefer him to rap and like his explanation in the rap? Like I wouldn't have told y'all niggas nothing. Okay, <laughs> all right. I don't tap dance for crackers and sing many. <laughs> All right, I don't have dance for crackers and sing many. You look crazy. <laughs> it's, damn, somebody simply Kyle H said it's three one because Drake releasing statements is an automatic L. I will say you've never seen Drake like explain himself. Yeah, man, that's a little wild, bro. Like Yo, first of all, we having a a black only and Spanish only conversation. All right. <laughs> Okay, that's what we doing. All right, this ain't got nothing to do with you. No, you like Drake too, so come back in here. Would you like? Would you like to represent? Would you like to represent for Drake's white half? Oh my God! All right, let's represent. Let's go, Pete. What? 
All right. Do you, you already know what I'm gonna say? What? No, I don't. What are you gonna say? Four white people stick together, even when the person ain't all white. What? He's upset about the black face. Like, because he's half white. But he thinks that's an L. I feel like it's a false statement. You loved the statement, didn't you? <laughs> you loved, you loved the statement, didn't you? Don't you see how high he is? You love. You know who you look like? You look like guy in that picture with drink that's taking the picture. Did, <laughs> did you not? Did you love the statement? Did you love the statement? I love the statement. I think it was a bit of a cop out. He knew what he was doing. He knows what he's doing. Oh! Even the white people turning. Oh! Oh! He knew he was able to fall on that sword. That's why he did it. He knew he would be able to say after the fact, well, this is why I did it. That's why we did it. Yo, like, listen, I'm going to tell you why I love my followers. Somebody said Kurt Cobain preaching the truth. Somebody else said mayonnaise came with the facts. <laughs> Oh, yo, look, look, D-Dot said, wow, Whole Foods not even supporting Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Now I'm going to tell you something. Now I'm going to tell you something. If there's one thing that's going to make Drake go into a beige rage, is it's him losing his white constituency. Y'all supposed to ride with him. I can't believe that. If any, He thought y'all would have understood his statement. Look, this how I feel. You know why? Wait, can I be real with you? This is why I feel like it's not like us older people, we know who Pusha T is. What you mean us older people? <laughs> My bad. Old head over here, you know who Pusha T is. That's right. right? But you're 25. Like, I, but I'm 27. I knew who Pusha T was before, like, or when he was with the Cliffs and all other stuff. Don't do that. When he was rocking with Pharrell and all other shit. So. How do you feel well, when Pusha T says he with wait, that wait, white girl? Wait, I'm not done. Yeah. So. <laughs> Hey, my what? followers are stupid. What? <laughs> you say you to somebody said, so. somebody said, Paige flat as Florida. Oh, uh, <laughs> stop. Why are they so mean? <laughs> <laughs> so look, I don't know why you're such an asshole, yo. Yes, yes, Taylor, yes. Good, give me one. So, second, I feel like at the end of the day, Drake's not gonna lose no money or something like that. So like, he was still gonna look at his album. Pusha did mess up his Adidas rollout. This is my only thing, right? I come from a school that's just as simple as this. Pusha made a record infrared. All right, we dug it. Drake made a record Duppy. We yeah, laughed at can. Kanye. We laughed at Pusha. Pusha came back with a record that made us laugh at Drake. Yes, I'm not. It's saying, like the schoolyard. Look, I'm not saying any of this. I'm not true. I'm, I'm not saying I feel like Drake's gonna come back. Maybe. Still. And second again, he's not losing no money or anything else. He was still gonna check for his album when it comes out. If I was Drake, and, 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 and at the end of the day, a lot of people, like the younger generation, they don't know what Pusha T is. <laughs> Yo, people are so crazy. Somebody said Philly girl with natural hair needs to be quiet. <laughs> what your hair got to do? This? Oh, somebody said safety cakes was banging on tables in elementary school. Don't try and play like she's young. Somebody said fix Becky a plate at the barbecue. <laughs> Somebody said you can iron clothes on Paige. She built like an iron and built. Well, guess what? This old nigga right here knows who Pusha T is, and I'm happy that old niggas is out here representing. All right, that's all it really boils down to. Old dark skin niggas, hold up. Old dark skin niggas is representing. Okay? Old dark skin niggas is representing. And look, as Drake plays, as Drake plays, you see he's not losing no other, you see he's not losing no plays or nothing. Look who's on the radio. Yo, God bless Drake. I think Drake is dope. I have no qualms with Drake. All right, we out. I